Garrett's sale from the backyard of the internet continues. Today we have news that will blow you away, but first, let's do a quick rundown on what happened this week in NFT. TikTok just joined the bandwagon on social that dipped their toes into NFTs along with Twitter and Instagram. The main social network of Gen Z is about to release a collection of non-fungible tokens called TikTok Top Moments, which shall include six culturally significant TikTok videos from the top creators, including Lil Nas, Rudy Willingham, Brittany Broski, and Bella Porch. On the other hand, if you don't have enough money to buy an NFT, why don't you rent it? Now you can easily take a CryptoPunk either from JPEG or ReNFT for a day or two. Not into renting much? We also have an NFT pawn shop for you. The startup is called NFTFi. It allows NFT owners to lend the digital art while other people can rent them. Renting a JPEG is becoming more satisfying than renting a Lambo or Porsche. Now, let's jump into the main news of today. Recently, Dailycoin's team had a unique opportunity to visit Articube, an art gallery that owns quite a few magnificent paintings of Oleg Telkov. A Russian non-conformist artist celebrated for his images of faces painting in bright color, depicting inner psychological patterns of violence in contemporary culture. A visionary research and development company, Superhow, has announced a challenge for all the whales and all the shrimps in the NFT community. They're about to auction Telkov's painting head with legs as an NFT later this year. But don't get too comfortable, this is not just another auction for digital JPEG. Superhow is about to offer you a community experiment, fine art NFT and a physical asset that anyone would love to have in their home. Here is a short video from our visit to RDQ. So we are in the Arty Cube Art Gallery in Lithuania and behind me you've got a soon-to-be-famous painting painted by Oleg Telkov. So the painting itself will soon to be sold in a very unique and NFT-related way. So let's hear more about it from the people who are organizing the project. We are Superhow, um, Blockchain Research and Development Lab. With this picture, with the, with the re re rebellious uh, author of this of, of this painting, basically, we are uh, going to in, into this market that that uh, that is crazy about uh, digital NFTs. Uh, we are coming here with real painting, with the real asset um, that we are gonna bring to the people with digital uh, NFT certificate. We are coming to this market with even bigger idea, with the challenge uh, for whales versus shrimps. And we want to see who will win. Uh, basically, we, we, we are trying to check if whales are still here, if whales are stronger than, than community. It's going to be really interesting to see who's going to win this race, shrimps or whales. And fun fact, if you buy the NFT, you can actually keep the original painting. The, the bidders that will be holding um, at least 75% uh, of, uh, of uh, governance uh, NFT tokens, they will hold the right to take this, this picture home. And we hope that this experiment, this project will be high success. And um, in, in that case, we will continue, of course we will continue and uh, we will probably introduce um, Superhow Art uh, as, a, as a platform for, for uh, tokenizing uh, real assets, real paintings. Fingers crossed for the luck of this project so we can see more fine art paintings being sold as NFTs in the near future. And speaking of selling and buying, this is not some cheap painting that you could get for a few hundred dollars. The original price of Head with Legs goes up to a few hundred thousand. However, the team of Superha decided to show their trust in the community and impressively lowered the starting price for the sake of a bigger challenge. There's one more thing uh, that we're gonna show to the market, how confident we are here and how confident we are in the in the community. So we are taking out the reserve price. We are all in with, uh, with uh, our own risk with this, uh, with this painting. And uh, we, we just want to show that, that this idea is great. We want to show that the uh, community is strong. So we are cutting out this, uh, this reserve price. It starts with uh, one ETH and let's see where it will end. So will you beat or be beaten? 
place your bid and let the world know. And for the grand final, here are some quick news about non-fungible tokens on the Solana blockchain. Solana Monkey Business 1355 was sold for $2 million, which is an absolute record for alternative blockchain NFT. This makes sense because either gas fees are ridiculous. So if you're still waiting for Vitalik Buterin to implement Ethereum 2.0, maybe it's a sign to choose the dark side. That's all the news for today, guys. Let us know in the comments, will you be the whale or one of the shrimps in the Super How Challenge? And I'll see you next week in NFT's Dad. Bye!